famous dog that you guys have had? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, bro? <laughs> no, because they're just like, bro. Side eye. They say lamest job wings up just <laughs> automatically just comes to my head. <laughs> Dude, Wilmer's manager fell in love with him. And and homegirl was like dating the you feel me the yeah. the cook. And she, she was like, she how do you say, this one time, bro, she goes, yeah, so I broke up with him. And I'm like, okay, what do you want me to do about it? No, I'm just telling you, like, you know, I broke up with him. So, like, I think you're cute. And I'm like, what? what? Yeah. <laughs> no, but not just that, dude. But, like, Wingstop was a shit show, bro. <laughs> <Apparently>. <laughs> Yo, the funny part is yeah. that girl he's talking about, she eats ass. <laughs> I was going to say that, apparently she eats ass. <laughs> bro, you, yo, no. but you had spread it for her? <laughs> Dude, the thing is, Let her bro. eat the peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> Let her eat the peanut butter. Cause I've been in the kitchen, I shake it, baby. My bitch is bad and older. Don't drink soda, I love that pussy odor. She wild like Rose and bend it over. Bro, I literally made sure all story. the lights were turned off. Story. Because the other day I left them on. And I came back yesterday and the kitchen light was on. And I'm like, Dude. I doubt, I doubt you. Double checked. I literally double checked. I went to go turn them off and I come home and they're on. One of them was on. And I'm like, what the fuck? The kitchen light the today? Yesterday. Oh, dude, let me tell you, bro. Who turned it on? I, like, I swear to God, I remember turning it all off. This one, that one. Nah, the thing is, like, if you were somebody else telling me this information, I believe it. But, like, bro, you've been known for just being, know. A, being a goober. I know, I'm forgetful. I'm a like, goofy goober. Yeah! Fuck! <laughs> but yeah, I remember. So guys, like I I left like to go to work and then like I turned off all the lights. I come home and like it's on. I was fucking scared and I didn't tell you because I know you would tell me I probably forgot. You know, the same thing you're telling me now. But I am very forgetful. I'm known. The thing is, Alicia, if you weren't known for being forgetful, like I'd believe you. But nah, bro. Last time, what was it? Like probably like three days ago. I woke up out of, I don't know where, I just woke up like around 3.18. I looked at my phone, I was 3.18. And I have a remote control car, like in my in my room, right? That my dad gave gifted me, like, oh, a long time ago. And dude, that shit just moved like toward, like towards me, like by itself. And it was it was off, it just moved. But like, I don't know if it, if it glitched or something like that. And then it just it moved on its own. But that was weird, dude. Like it literally just, it was from right here. And then it just went forward. And you could hear it like, you know how it turns on when you hear like the, the engine, the mini engine of, a, of the remote control car? Yeah. But, like move, yeah. So like. And the controller was inside a box. Like, the controller was nowhere near that remote control car. So I was kind of like, what the fuck? And it was like three, dude. I have a question for you guys. What is something that you're most scared of? Like, what is the thing that, like, terrifies you the most? I'm more scared of, like, stalkers and, like, serial killers than actual, like, ghosts, like, paranormal shit. Because, like, I feel like if ghosts, if you don't bother them, they won't bother you. You know what I mean? Like, if you don't reach out to them, basically. Yeah. Or, like... I don't know. I feel like you just let a ghost be, just let it be, unless unless it's like a demon or something. But like people like doing weird shit, they they're most likely to kill you and harm you. I agree. What what is something you're most terrified of, Griffin? Bro, all I could hear is that dumb motorcycle outside, bro. Yeah. There, we have a neighbor with a fucking mini motorcycle, bro. Like the biggest loser. Imagine a moped with a fucking exhaust on it. Like you wearing sunglasses and a hat. Be nice. The biggest loser, dude. It's honestly kind of pathetic because the guy's about thirty. I think they don't even just be riding, bro. They just be riding to prove a point, like revving their shit. <laughs> I don't know why they rev their motorcycles, dude. That one like, episode. I, I, if it was like a cool, like sick, like ninja or some shit, like I get it, but like it's a piece of shit. When you say ninja, I think about the coffee machine. Ninja, <laughs> sponsor me. <laughs> Sponsored by Ninja. <laughs> Sponsored. They be making some good blenders, though. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, and their coffee machines. I really like their coffee machines. Every, Sponsored every, by Ninja. In Roxbury, when we were playing basketball, dude, and we seen that a motorcyclist just riding around in the park in the grass and in the field. Oh, the guy in the moped. Yeah. All I can think about is that one episode of South Park where like they they all start driving their Harleys. And oh yeah. Like, and there was like a whole thing, and they're like, they're like, now nah, we look cool. <laughs> <laughs> What advice would you give your younger self if you can go back in time and give them advice? If it wasn't financial advice, then I'd tell myself to uh, start working out and, you know, uh, life is just better when you look better, you feel better. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. But if it was financial, I'd be like, yo, buy Bitcoin right now, you know? <laughs> Why would you give yourself that advice? Pretty self-explanatory. Bitcoin was basically free back then and now it costs like 60 Gs a coin. Not about the Bitcoin, about like the... The working out? Yeah. Well, like... Dude, I, I was like pushing like 260, bro. Like, that was huge as fuck. My back would hurt. My knees would hurt. Everything would hurt. Every, like, the thing is that when you get so fat that like you don't even want to buy clothes for yourself because you're like, I'm going to look ugly either way. And, and then it's the truth, you know? Mm -hmm. But now that I've lost a couple pounds, like, I'm like, hey, you know, I would really want to buy that hoodie or I want to buy that, you know, and I know it's not going to be a waste of money. 
Yeah. Dude, if I can go back in time and like see my younger self, all I will give that motherfucker is financial <laughs> advice, bro. <laughs> I'll be like, bro, save up your money. Just save it. Just stash it away. Pretend like it's, it's gone. Like you don't have anything, but just keep stacking your bread. Is there anything in like the past that you both regret doing? Getting fat. <laughs> no. <laughs> and letting and letting it go for so long. Like I don't know. The thing is, when you're fat, when you're fat as fuck, like you don't even notice that yeah. you're that big until like you lose weight and then you see like old pictures and it's like damn. Because like what you see in the mirror just becomes normal to you. you yeah, because you see it every day, so it doesn't really like you don't see that drastic change that like you're hoping for, and yeah. then it makes you like so like unmotivated to do anything because it's just like I'm not gonna get anywhere. And yeah. the thing is, at least when I was like super big, like I didn't want to really like meet people at all because I'm like oh like I was always just so like ashamed of the way I look. Or like at least like super awkward and shy, you know. Yeah. If you guys could travel to the future or the past, which one would you do? If I could time travel, I would go to the past because I really want to see how like my future would like unfold. Like I don't want to spoil it for myself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like if if I were to go back in time, I would like I, I could maybe fix a couple things, but you know, I have a weird like well not way of like time traveling in the past. Like I wouldn't want to change anything. I could just like experience experience things twice if that makes sense. But, like, if you're traveling to the past, is it going to be, like, your present, you visiting the past? Or, like, you go back in, like, kid form? Or Let's say if you could go back to the past, you would be, like, in the moment. You wouldn't be, like, visiting your past self. You would so, just... are, we, are we talking staying in the past? I'm talking about, like, let's say, like, go 10 years into the past and just restart. Would oh, you? That was, that's a completely different question. You said if you could travel. Travel means that you come back home. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Oh, well. Well, yeah, so Alicia, this is her first time being the woman to ask questions, and she's doing a terrible job, you know? It's not your fault, you're just a woman. I hate Grayson, I'm actually very nervous, and I hate, like, I just hate talking. So I'm like, you know. Be cool, it'd be cool. Alright, like, now you, if you could travel to the past and stay in the past, would you? Honestly, no. I feel like my past really, like, helped me become who I am today, and I feel like if I change certain things about my past, I wouldn't be like who I am and I'm happy with who I am. So I wouldn't. That's a really good way of putting it. Yeah, but the thing is like if you go in the past, right? Like yourself went to the past with all the information you have, feel me. But let's say if so you it's don't, not really gonna affect who you became in the future. But let's say if we do do go to the past, we wouldn't like And then it would create a paradox, I get it. Like <laughs> if you went to the past and changed yourself, then you wouldn't have never became the person that went to the past. But that's when you start splitting up timelines and stuff like mm. that. That's kind of how it works. To be honest, bro, if I could go back in time, dude, with the knowledge that I have now, ooh, I'd be in the NBA right now. In the NBA, really? <laughs> nah, bro. If I could go to the past with everything I know, like, I would just go there with a winning Powerball ticket, bro. You would have created yeah. Facebook, right? <laughs> Fuck all that, bro. I'd just take the, the billion-dollar Powerball, like, ticket, feel me? Yeah. Would you give 20 years of your life for $2 million? I would not give two, what was it, 20 years? Yeah, 20 years for $2 million. I would not give 20 years of my life for $2 million. And you know, like, I have a pretty good answer to this because I've actually, you know, uh, John from work, like, he's super rich. Oh, yeah. And then he always tells me, I would I would give anything in the world to be 20 again, you know? And that's coming from someone with millions of dollars in the bank, you know? And w what is something that you can't buy more of? And then that is time. So it's that's time. why I feel like time is more valuable than money. But, like... It becomes like a hard question because what about if you work a dead end job for those twenty years and then you never even touch two million, you know? Yeah. How but about it, you? I mean, I, I I agree with your with what you said, honestly, because like you could be working twenty or more years, that, like starting from right now, and you could hardly even probably even scratch and t touching two million dollars. But like, you could become like you could do different things to help you reach that goal. You feel me? With the since since we're young. Yeah. But, like, but, but imagine like because like, you would feel like a 40 year old because you're 20 i'm 20 we're all 20 here yeah. you know so we'd like, be 40 with two mil but that's like but that's still kind of like the prime of your life i guess but that's like the time that you're like actually building like yeah but anytime you meet old people they always tell you like i wish i was your age yeah. you know do you think that your younger self would be happy with who with like who you are today sorry let me feel that i mean no no you said it perfectly it's fine uh <laughs> I don't think so, dude, because, like, <laughs> my younger self was so oblivious to just how hard life is. Like, I was expecting to be a millionaire when I'm, like, 23 or some shit, you yeah. know? And, like, now I'm, like, seeing, like, the situation and the, how, like, the economy actually is. And I'm, like, uh, these jobs are paying what? Like, you, it, you have a good job if you're making $70,000 a year. Like, is it really a good job to like, you? To be honest, are you going to ever hit a million dollars? 
with seventy thousand dollars every year, like it's gonna take you your whole lifetime, and by yeah. that time, a million dollars is gonna be nothing. How about you, woman? Do you think that your younger self would be proud of the person you are today? Mm, yes and no. I feel like I feel like yes, in in ways that like I've matured a lot. Because, like you said, it's like, oh, being oblivious, like, you're yourself, you think, like, oh, the, the adults know it all. When you become an adult, you're going to be financially stable, you're going to be this, you're going to be that. You become an adult, and you realize that, like, things don't work out like that, you know? Yeah, and but, life like, is harder than you thought. Yeah, so it's just, like, something that goes, it contradicts, like, my me saying yes, because, like, I don't feel like I'm at where I need to be, you know? No, I feel that. And my younger self would be like, come on, fam you're slacking but it's just like it makes it so hard especially like in this economy yeah too. as a kid i was so yeah. ignorant dude it, and then like back then not everything was like so high high prices as it is right now or like you know yeah. you have to make like money even jobs dude they don't even be like you know like offering, yeah. like hiring so it's hard to even get find a job but like a good stable job that you know you're going to be there for like a good minute and it's going to help you pay your bills and shit what about you alicia are you proud of the person that you are today and if you were let's say 15 what would your 15 year old self think about you now at 20? Honestly, I think that I would be proud of the person I am today because I grew up with not like the best examples and I grew up like my family was very poor and I feel like seeing that like motivated me to be like a better person and also like think smarter and I feel like if I didn't experience that like I would have the mindset that I have and I feel like I'm still growing as a person but I'm very happy that like you know, I'm not in a like certain situation self so, because I I came from like a very sorry. It's cool, but like I just I don't know why it's so nervous today. I think it's because. Dude, I say what the fuck did Walter? I'm just in the corner like. Why is it fuck me for? Why is it fuck me for? Okay, I'm gonna just not look at the camera and I'm gonna talk to you guys. Talk to me. You could tell your chair a little bit. It's fine, you know. But yeah, I I honestly think that I would be proud of myself, like. I came from like a family that's not very motivating and I feel like they didn't really do like much with their lives so I feel yeah. like being around that really like showed me like how much it affected them and like it made me like more motivated and driven to like get shit be done. the exactly like get shit done and just be the opposite from like what I experienced and like what I saw around me so I think that like yeah 15 year old me would be proud and like we're, we're all growing every day so I feel like I feel like it's super interesting that you say that you are proud of yourself because like I've seen you literally cry saying that you want more in life and that you're upset with the position that you are at but when you start like s stepping away from like present you and start thinking about questions like this you're like damn I came a long way because I remember me when I was like 15 and I'd be or like 14 you know super kid like you know super what I mean young, yeah. super young and shit like, I, I would always want a car, you know, and, like, yeah. I used to be kind of sad because, like, my, my cousins would tell me, you're not going to have a car, this and that, and they're always looking down at me, and they're like, you're probably going to get a girl pregnant when you're, like, 15. Like, bro, I had a family that was always just, like, kicking you when you're already down, you know? People obviously do that to make them feel better about themselves, but... Yeah, I feel like, I feel like people who tend to, like, bash you on, like, how you're going on with your life without yeah. them even knowing you, it's because their life is so, like, shit that they don't... That they fulfilled that, you know, yeah, empty, yeah, empty void, that. empty void by like making other people feel miserable, miserable about themselves, and it's just like, yeah. dude, you're doing way worse than me. Focus on you, and I worry about myself. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. and like something that really helped me out, like at least with my mindset, is like watching a lot of podcasters. They would teach mindset, you know, like mm -hmm. a lot of people find it cringy, like these like financial gurus and stuff like that. But like, they they say some gold sometimes, you know, like no, yeah, wealth no. is a mindset, you know. Like, it really is. At least like going back to like what you were saying that like i doubt myself and sometimes i feel like it's not enough i feel like we all have moments like that when you really want better and like i feel like if you don't think like that you're just going to be stuck in the same place i feel like always telling yourself that you can do better like really helps you do better and if you just say like i'm okay with the way i am you're not yeah. gonna grow so like like mentally it's very draining because like you always tell yourself like it's not enough but like thinking about it like there's people who are way older than us that don't even have their life together we at least like you know like we have a reliable car we have an apartment we have a good job and you know we have like good ways of thinking that's why i say that like it's really all about your mindset but yeah heavy on that mindset dude your biggest enemy is your mind bro you always want to motivate yourself because nobody is going to motivate you but yourself i mean you also got to think about it like this like when you could conquer your own mind you could, you could conquer, conquer weak people's minds as well you know no. and then now you could start seeing how like you could use your words to affect someone else's life exactly like for instance i don't know what you guys think about depression but 
personally when i was like 14 i really thought that that like depression was an actual thing like a lot of people might say like otherwise but like from someone that experienced and really believed in depression i never got anything done because i kept telling myself that i was too depressed to get anything done and as soon as i changed my mindset and started telling myself like you can either be depressed or you can get the fuck up and do something about it so like when i started thinking that way like it really just like the depression i had went away and i started like up. yeah i started accomplishing way more and i feel like when you're depressed you don't like really like like we all have potential and like you're not able to like show your potential if you keep telling yourself you can't do it so like for people that do have depression or believe in it like it's all a mindset like you are like who you want to be and Whatever you tell your mind, that's how you're going to feel and that's how you're going to act. Exactly. What I I definitely know depression is real, but what I don't believe in is that it's a disease. Or stopping you. Like, it's stopping you if you let it stop you. If you tell yourself, like, fuck this depression I have, let's get things done, trust me. Like, in a couple of months, you won't even remember that you, like, were facing, like, depression. I'm not sure what you guys think about it, if you guys would like to, like... Yeah, like I was saying, like I definitely don't think it's a disease, but a mindset, you know. And uh, if you don't have time to be depressed, you won't be depressed, you know. Like if you're out here working, hustling, you know, uh, working your butt off in the gym too, you know, you won't really have time for depression, you know. How are you gonna, mm-hmm. how are you gonna be depressed if you look in the mirror and you're a fucking stud? You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> like let's be let's be real, bro. Like for honestly, real. dude. Because funny you mentioned that, dude. When I was unemployed for like a hobby, Two months, dude. And I was just in my room, you know, not doing anything. I, my mind used to just... I used to overthink so many things, dude. Mm-hmm. That I would just, like, you know, my head would just be so clogged up in my thoughts. And I would... And it made me believe that I was actually depressed. And then you feel me? Then I started... A, a couple weeks later, I, I started picking... You know, I mean... A couple weeks later, I started working where I work... Where I currently work work at now. And, you know, all those... All those, like, thoughts that like, I, I used to have just went out the window. Yeah, because you had shit to get done. Yeah, because I had shit to do. And like you said, I go, I would, I would look in my mirror and it's just like, you know, every morning, like, I, I'm grateful I have a job. I'm going to work. You and know? I feel like it's really like appreciating, appreciating the small things. For yeah. people that don't really appreciate anything, I feel like they like, like nothing's ever enough. And I feel like when you think that way, like you're not really happy. And at least the thing about like your situation where you were unemployed, when you actually got up and started applying for jobs, did it help? Mm. Yeah. Did you, what do you say it solved? whatever depression you were going through yeah because like the thing is like i used to just be in my room all the time you know just staring at the ceiling like, just being fat just b- getting fat dude <laughs> <laughs> just getting fat you know i had like no motivation to do anything whatsoever you know and it's like now when you got things to do it yeah. takes your mind off of all those thoughts and it's just because bro how do you say if i could like if, if i could like i don't know put it into like details like on how like where i am right now dude yeah it would be like a A huge leap a huge leap dude because i went from ground zero yeah to like being up there and just be being like no having having a completely different mindset towards life and towards everything what changed your mindset i feel like what changed his mindset was probably getting a job you know because like when you don't have a job you also have the people around you just kind of like i don't know kicking you while you're down basically telling you oh you don't help you don't do this and that. All you do is just stay in your room. And like, what can I really do? You know, I don't have a job. And it, it sucks not having a job. That's why I always feel bad for people when they lose their jobs, you know? Like, because I know how important it is to have a job, not just for like your family, but for your mindset, you know? Yeah. What advice would you guys give people that deal with depression or that deal with mental illnesses? What What is something that you could advise to them to maybe help them out? Man, get up, look yourself in the mirror and tell them you're him. And then go up like your day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would say go look at yourself in the mirror and just ask yourself, am I happy with the way I look? And if the answer is no, get in the fucking weight room, you know? Yeah. Or, if you can, or if you can't answer that question, then the answer is no. <laughs> and, and, and like, you also got to look at your bank account and be like, hey, am I happy with the digits in my <laughs> bank account? And if the answer is yeah. no, get to fucking work, bro. And then you're going to be too busy to be depressed, you know? Yeah, or yeah. you might be depressed while working. But then you'll be like, oh, shit, I'm making a couple improvements. Oh, shit, I just bought my first car. You know, oh, shit, I just bought this hoodie like I always wanted. You know, the little things start making you happy, yeah. dude. At least for me, an advice that I would give is never, like, never belittle yourself and always believe that you can do it. And I know that, like, depression is 
really hard for some people to face but having faith in yourself that you can get to where you want to be will really help and do stuff that make you happy put yourself first always and i just feel like when you do all these things like it's very it's really going to help you more mentally feel good about yourself and about your life and also just always appreciate like like i said don't belittle yourself if you accomplish something feel good about it yeah. i feel like that's how you get more stuff done and get to where you want to be i feel i i think fuck i think like i know like you need to get away from people that make you belittle yourself you know yeah, like, exactly. i have, a, I have it, a cousin bro and like her mom and dad toxic as hell like they would always just call her stupid and say that she's a she's a donkey and that she's a dumbass while growing up right so now that she's like older she don't even walk with her head looking up bro she walks with her head looking down dude and then she's always like i'm depressed i'm depressed or she and has no dude, confidence in herself like she needs to get away from that home situation you yeah. know like people that bring you down are not gonna help you with your depression dude you gotta find a good inner circle you know same thing same thing with like you hang in with like bad like you know like a bad friend group because yeah. you eventually you become the person like you become like the person you hang out with the most and, and the if, people you look up to and the people you look up to and i feel like if you're just hanging hanging around with bums even though you don't realize it you're slowly gonna become a bum exactly yeah. have you guys been around people that like belittle you and how did you guys like handle the situation how did getting away from those people help you as a person i think the best option you could take is detaching yourself it's detaching yourself um, and you know and it could be a win-win <laughs> for for you know for like both ends you know what i mean yeah because like because like if you feel like damn i'm not doing anything all i feel like i'm just wasting my 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 days by just like you know just hanging out with like with these group of friends and i'm not accomplishing anything you know just being a bum and you st that person that you're hanging out with might feel the same way too so if you detach yourself you know yeah. even even if the other person doesn't want to and you do it you can you're helping them because now that person doesn't have you to be a bum with you know yeah, what i mean yeah yeah. So now they gotta so get now, up yeah so now they get like oh shit. and you know what sucks the most is being a bum alone you know yeah and really dude realistically speaking you 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 you're by yourself and you you're continuing to do bum shit. you one day you're gonna wake up and smell the coffee and you're gonna be like you're gonna have a, mo a moment of realization you're just like nah i need to get my shit together especially if that boy that you were a bum with is now fucking you know going up in his ranks you know what i'm trying yeah. to say like he's going up the food chain yeah, going exactly. up the hierarchy who is somebody that motivated you guys the most bro this is gonna sound mad cringe genuinely mad cringe bro like you already know what i'm gonna say but it's mad cringe bro but like, your dad because uh, his dad is the most hard-working person i know i that of course my father but like dude i'm gonna be honest with you bro but like Andrew Tate, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is cringe, like as fuck. But he's motivating. I get bro, it. the thing is, like, he like I was, just, you. I, I was just there, fat as fuck, just watching TikTok or whatever. All You're probably fat as fuck too. And, and, and then all of a sudden, he's like, "Get your fat ass up!" <laughs> and I'm like, "Yes, sir." <laughs> no, literally, dude. Cause I mean, bro, sometimes it takes. It, nah, like, bro, it, there was there was one thing that he said. Like, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but like no, one thing that he said that kind of just like woke me up bro he said look at yourself in the mirror if you're a, if you're a man right if you're a man look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself if i was a girl would i fuck me you know <laughs> and, and, and then at least for me like i was like 270 bro i'm like no bro and i started kind of feeling gross about myself mm -hmm. you know and that kind of just like you need those hard realizations bro for you to actually like try to do something yeah, you know that's, I mean? that's what i'm saying like that's what i was gonna say like Sometimes you need a you need to hear the harsh things that other people see in you that you don't see in yourself. 100%. So you can so you can like start to make a difference. You know what I mean? Exactly. And like slowly but surely, you're you're gonna feel like you said you're gonna start to feel disgusted with your own self, and you're gonna want to change for the better. No, exactly. What about you, Omer? Who motivates you the most, and why? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <laughs> bro, this one video. This one video, bro. I, f I forgot. I was I was just scrolling. And I seen him, and then he was like that one video. Him like, the fuck are you smoking, vape? And he'll air, bro. And he was just coming at niggas. And I was like, 
damn. And then I started watching more videos of him, and like, yeah. you know, like half of the shit that he be saying, I would relate to it so much. And it's just like, yo, he's right. I need to change myself. Uh, bro. Alicia's like, over here making faces. You don't like Andrew Tate? No, it's not that I don't like him. I think he's motivating. I'm just thinking, who motivates me? Like me, nigga. <laughs> yeah. You know that, bro? Cause like. I'm always on grind mode, bro. Like you don't even know, like. But it sounds gay if I say my my boyfriend motivates me, like. Why you gotta stutter? Sorry. No, no. I, I mean, like, again. why you gotta stutter? Are we like, feel me? What? Nothing. Do you want to fight it, like? bro? No, never mind. <laughs> okay. Anyways, but <laughs> this is not my dumb. thinking about it, like, like I mentioned, like before, like I grew up with like a lot of people that are like really unmotivated around me, so I feel like if I would, like, if I stayed, like having like a close relationship with like these family members and actually hanging out with them more i feel like i would have been in the same position but i met gerson at a very young age and i actually met him and when she he completely fell in love with me he had a huge head and i'm like <laughs> why do i have to work with him anyways shut but up you love this big head everyone knows anyways but i literally met him like a week before he bought his car and i literally remember him telling me like Oh, like, I'm look he was literally just not working, looking at cars. And in my head, I'm like, because, like, let's say, like, other people our age, they always say, like, I'm going to go buy a car or, you know, I'm going to go do this and that, and they don't do it. So what really, like, opened my eyes and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, if this kid is able to, like, really put in the hard work to, like, have a car and have, like, things he wants, why can't I, you know? And, like, you know, like, as we work together, like, he really, like, he would always give me advice and like i seen that like from a young age he was very like you know let's get this money so like having a partner like that really motivates you and like having also a partner who has like the correct mindset really helps and it motivates you to be a better person and you guys grow together which is something i yeah bro like you know who Graham Stephan is, bro? Shout out Graham Stephan, because that motherfucker, bro, he was teaching me credit cards, what mm. steps to buy a house. You know, he was telling me his life story. Dude, throughout the whole pandemic, Graham Stephan, Graham Stephan, Graham Stephan. You Graham know, Stephan. just learning finance. And then, like, it really helped a lot, dude, because I, I be seeing people that, like, don't know jack shit. Like, you telling me you don't know that you're supposed to spend less than you make? You know, I, I thought it was common sense, but I guess not. Like, like at least You really me. don't know who Graham Stephan is? Really? I, <laughs> really? I never watched like wow. four videos. I know of him. Like, I've bro. seen him, but like never like. <laughs> yeah, I just know like I. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah, but he's he's a great teacher, bro. Like, I feel like I could have wasted my time watching Logan Paul and his stupid like shenanigans. I heard that name. Or it's every day, I could have been learning about finances with Grant Stephan and other financial like gurus mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I like the financial audit. I'm Favorite? telling you, the financial audit was honestly really helpful for me. Shut up the I, hammer. Thing. It's embarrassing. Like, <laughs> Shut up the let's hammer. Let's say, like, <laughs> if, if I were to go to, like, the financial audit, like, honestly, I would be embarrassed because, like, you know, and that really proves to you that, like, you need to do better. Like, I'm not doing the worst, but, like, you can always do better. You can always save so much more money than what you actually spend. Dude, I would be watching the financial audit just stroking my ego, bro, because I'd be, like, 30-year-olds with like so much credit card debt, so much student loan debt, collections. looking for a job, you know? Like, how the fuck you got two degrees looking for a job, my boy? I wanna like, work, I wanna be a model. There was, there, was this right? one, there was this one video of this 25 year old and you asked him like, what do you do for a living? And he's like, I don't know, I'm not sure yet. And they're like, what? How do you not know what you <laughs> like, do you're for a living? Year old, what the fuck do you do for a living, brother? <laughs> what do you mean, you can't, like, what? <laughs> He should have just said the right answer, coast, because that's what he's doing, mm, coasting coast his family. Yeah. <laughs> no, later on, you know, like, Caleb Emery, he'd be digging through yeah, you, bro, yeah, just yeah. to find out, because, like, some people be, like, sugarcoating, like, certain situations. Later, got, like, midway through the video, you find out that he's, his, his older brother was, like, helping him and, like, you know, like, enabling his bad behavior. So yeah. it's kind of like, damn, that's why. <laughs> that's why you don't even know what you're, you're doing with your life. I have another question for you guys. What advice would you give your future kids and why? Like, would you give them that certain piece of advice? All right, Wilmer, you go first. I don't know. I feel like I feel do like you I know even want kids, dude. I do want kids. You dude. do? Yeah. Boy or girl? I feel like I, I want a boy first, they, and then a, a girl. boy always says they want a boy first. I want like, a boy first too. I, I don't know, dude. I want to. Because the thing is, like, like to to, to raise a baby girl, bro, you gotta be rich already, bro. Yeah. But like, you can have a boy while you're on the grind still. You you yeah. feel me? Yeah. Because they're like. They're very like you okay. Can, like thank obviously, you. you you gotta like cater for them and like care for them and all that. But, but boys like, can struggle easier. more. Feel me? Yeah, like they're 
I don't know. I feel like I feel like oh, every every boy that like has to deal with like difficult yeah. shit. Because I feel like two girls need more attention, dude. And let's say if you're on grind mode, she's yeah. gonna find that attention somewhere else, like in a boy. Yeah, but it's true. What advice would you give your future kid? Back to that question, because apparently we don't know how to answer questions. Yeah. <laughs> All right, sorry, I interrupted you, woman. As you, yeah. Nah, I mean, honestly, I'm just like. I'm honestly not even sure, bro. Well, your son. Your son is in front we'll of you, right? Your Let's son. Say, what, what piece of advice would you give him? Maybe something that you want somebody to tell you when you were younger, like what, you know? Exactly. Like, uh, I feel like... Dude, I'm honestly not sure. It's like, it's like, cause it's like, I can't give you like, I can't give you like a specific answer. Cause Let's not like, give Wilmer questions anymore. <laughs> bro, kick you me out, Wilmer? bro. Kick me out. Wilmer has left the chat. <laughs> Wilmer has left the chat. No, we're nah, there's just like so many things that yeah. I would like, you know, like I would, I can't give you like a specific answer because it's just like so many things that I wish people have told me like when I was younger. Yeah. Name more than one. Dad. Cause, Cause I know your dad was working a lot. Like the yeah. same way my dad was. Like I would barely see my dad growing up and yeah, stuff, you, you know? Me. Did that affect you guys? Of course. Yeah, yeah, I don't have a father so I wouldn't know. Because it's just like, you know, you sometimes like... No, nah, but... <laughs> his loss. I'm the best daughter he could have ever had. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, anyways, I know your dad's not listening to this, but fuck your dad. Fuck you. Honestly, fuck you. But thank you for spoiling Oh, I thought you were going to say that to me. I'm like, no. did I say something that I hurt your feelings? No. Fuck, oh, my dad. fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. Mm. He would literally just be like, go every year. Here's a PlayStation. Here's Bro, this. The, the I, I want to meet your dad so badly. Just like, I kind of want to just like the fuck is wrong with you bro like dude, just tell him how great you are and tell him how big of a shit he is you know <sighs> my dream because her dad be like i love you i love you da 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 but like where the fuck are you nigga <laughs> literally oh, like i remember i was like like four and then like he told me he was gonna go I get some eggs you. and milk at the grocery store he never came back and i stayed there waiting for those eggs and milk is this a joke or is not? That? No, I'm like so serious. Wait, what the fuck? So yeah, the like, whole, fuck that nigga, bro. <laughs> no <laughs> way that around I, it. This is a joke, guys. I'm joking. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Wait, how are you going to be joking and saying stuff like that and then look at me straight dead in my eye and be like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dark, yeah. Humor. <laughs> dark humor. Dark humor. Dark humor. I mean, feel me. like that's <laughs> Oscar worthy like acting right there. Yeah, yeah. If you're seeing this, Disney. Disney. <laughs> Disney. Disney. I think you're too old for Disney. Disney likes underage kids. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> oh, Back yeah, to the no. question though. What what advice would you give your son, dude? I feel like that's a bro, that's I want a son so badly. You have no idea, yeah. dude. First of all, if let's say I have a kid, bro, I'm getting one of those like those ball pins, right? That have like two little hoops. And then I'm a bro, my son, bro, like I see him standing, I'm pushing him over, bro. Like, man the fuck up, bro. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Like, no, I would have so I, much fun, but, like, that yeah. shit helps. Because no. I remember when I was younger, like, I would do some dumb shit and, like, fall over. And my dad would be like, get the fuck up or I'm going to get you the fuck up. <laughs> they don't. Bro, His that shit is. helped me with so much, bro. Yeah. No, because, like. Because I always help myself. It, it, it shapes up your character. No, no bullshit. Why are you like, crying? I'll give you a reason to cry. Yeah. Like, exactly. Because then kids be out here crying. They're bullying me. They're bullying me. Punch them. Punch them in the mm -hmm. face. Like. Yeah, because like, you, you can't really fix anything by crying. You just make yourself look weaker. Exactly. Bro. So it's just like... But my dad always told me crying was all right, you know? Like, he just no, like... yeah. Because crying is all right. Like, if you're just an over, like, masculine guy and you're trying to teach your kid all that, like, I feel like you need to, like, feel me, balance it out. Yeah. Because I feel like kids... Emotions are important. They are. And I feel like, at least, like, I've experienced, like, seeing, like, men talk about how, like... They Maybe feel they like <laughs> no, like they feel like crying in front of a girl is like soft or like you know like just showing emotions is soft in general. And I feel like we're human; we should be able to express our, our emotions, but also find ways to control them. You know, like mm -hmm. I feel like there's nothing wrong with the guy, you know, having a bad day and feeling bad. Like we're human. There's gonna be times where we all have our days that we don't feel a hundred percent, or like we're upset with something. And I feel like. Once you, like, deal with your emotions, that's how you actually, like... Grow. grow. Grow and, like, get through it. But, like, if you try to ignore your emotions, you're just going to pretend you're happy all the time when you're really not or not really, like, solve the problem, you know? Or, look, a lot of yeah. things that I, that I have seen, too, like, a lot of people, like, they bottle up their emotions and they don't let them out. And then, like, you know, you, you bottle up so many things that eventually that jar just opens up. And you just And it start could cause you, like, you know, like severe like you know mental health like problems you know what i mean or it's like true. Yeah. or like fuck with your mind like a lot because it's just like you can't really let that shit out because you can't but like you don't want to and you're choosing not to and you just keep or all that sometimes shit you feel like you can't 
because yeah. of the people around you. Like, don't bottle your emotions, bro. If you need to cry, cry alone, bro. Yeah. Make that ass. Dude, don't be crying in, car- in front of people, bro. Like, cry alone, bro. Like, cry yourself to bed, but like, don't ever cry in front of nobody, bro. Yeah, Fuck that. That just makes you feel weaker, and then you don't need sympathy from other people. Cause like, I don't like, need nobody's fucking pity, bro. Like, like, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you, the first thing that they're gonna tell you to see you crying? Oh, don't cry. Shit, no shit, Sherlock. I've yeah. that first. Like, yeah, but some people like. Other gay. people will be, hey, are you okay? Like, I've seen so many boys cry in school, and guess what? In high school, they're gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, experience. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, it's like, yeah, bro, dude. go cry alone, bro. That's, so, that's why I feel like, bro, I feel like getting bullied during school, like, really, helps, bro. really helps, bro. Like, <laughs> like, if your life is in danger, I definitely get that that's an extreme. Yeah. But, like, get bullied. Like, get bullied. Don't like, get, get bullied, bullied, guys. Like, wear your nerdiest glasses to school. Go get bullied, little kids. Mm, like, bro. stand up to them. <laughs> yeah, because it teaches you how to stand up for yourself, bro. Yeah. I was gonna say or you anyway. got, or you're going to get, like, you're going to get keep getting treated that way. Feel me? Unless yeah. you stand up for yourself. At least me, like, I was always taught, like, if someone hits you, hit them back. And if you feel like they're going to hit you, hit, hit them first. first. Like, hit first. Shit. like no, I remember, guys. like... I was friends with like this girl that was like three years older than me and like I remember I was like literally six I'm just chilling we got into like an argument over like I don't know we were playing with like toys and stuff she Mm -hmm. punched me in the stomach and I was I like was crying and I went to my mom and she told me like if you ever let somebody do that shit to you again I'm beating your ass like yeah and that really made me tough so like when I like went to like middle school and all these girls were like trying to like push me around I told them like no like you know like I shut that shit down and no one bothered me. Like, I'm probably one of the nicest people you'll meet. But, like, if you push my buttons, like, yeah. like you got to show them, like, don't fuck with me. Because, like, if you, like, if you show your softness, they're going to think that they can pick on you. And, like, no. And the thing is, like, I don't get what, like, at least when I was a little kid, like, I would try to be so tough. Like, <laughs> why, bro? Why, why do little kids always act like that, dude? <laughs> well, I mean... Could do, bro. But back, you know what I'm trying yeah, to say, yeah, bro. bro. Little kids would always try to act tough. Cause bro, bro cause back then, bro, like, bro, a girl, a, the girl you probably like, your crush, yeah, will probably like leave you for like a dude who was faster than you, <laughs> type shit. <laughs> like, you like, know what like I mean? Third grade. So like, I feel like as a kid, like growing up, at least like in elementary school, you have to like, you know, have like a that yeah demeanor that you're yeah. like, you feel me? You're you're him type shit. So like, you feel me? <laughs> but that's just like you know, that's just little kid stuff. Dude. Yo, but going back to like having kids and shit, bro. Like, I want a squad, bro. Like, I want, I, I want like three boys and like one girl. You know, three yeah. boys and a girl. Cause think about it. If I have three boys first, let's say someone's picking on the girl, bro. Like, what? you got yeah. three oh, older man. brothers, bro. Like, <laughs> going to war. Yes, sir. And like, <laughs> let, let's say like. The older brother teaches for you to the younger brothers, you know? Yeah. So just just plant one really good seed. Of course, don't forget to water your other seeds. But, like, if you plant one good seed, the first seed that you planted is going to help you with the other two. Feel me? An army. Yeah. <laughs> I want an army. I always told Alicia I want an army, bro. Because like, think about it. When you die, the only thing you leave here is kids. Bro, I'm just thinking about, like, eight children. <laughs> Bro, he went to the whole starting five. Then. No. <laughs> Dude, the thing is, like, when I have, like, boys, push-ups every day, bro. You know? Because you got you to get, you, you gotta, you gotta get him, like... Bro, that's that's one thing. Yeah. Like, if, like, my, my son, he needs to, like, play sports, like, do, like, very... Do like, my kid won't see an iPad until they're, like, what, like, bro, 15. Like, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm going to score my, my kid, bro. I'm like, bro, uh, you don't want to do this? Where? Go run laps. You don't want to do this? Give me 20 jumping jacks right now. Oh, you, oh, you, oh, you bored? You bored? Go on your push-ups. Type shit. No, <laughs> no you're, you bored? Go clean. Like, shit. Yeah, if you go for a that girl. Too, yeah. for, for a, a girl. boy, too, bro. Fuck boys, that. too. I, I want my boy to be very nah, organized. I'm going to teach my boy to find himself a girl that's going to clean for him. That's what you did, right? That's what I did. My dad always told me to find yourself a good woman. I, I did. clean for myself. I'm Alicia, a when was the last time I picked up a dish? I don't know. I wish he would pick up dishes. Nah, yeah, he capping. He capping. Last time he was washing dishes. Alicia made him wash the dishes like not not, not that long ago. He capping. <laughs> he be washing dishes. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> yeah. Like once a year. When was that? Like the Fourth of July? No, not, not even. Made the burgers. I think that was the last time. <laughs> and you think Walmart helped him? Yeah, I hope. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't recall. But anyways, personally. I do also want to have a boy. His name is going to be Xavier. <laughs> Xavier Alexander. That's his name. Anyways, and one advice that I would give my kid is enjoy being a kid. One thing that I experienced growing up is always wanting to be older. Always wishing that I was old enough to work and help my family. And I never enjoyed being my age because I was so worried of all like the responsibilities my mom had as a single mom. And 
at least going back to it now like I've been working since I've been like 14 like I started working in like a youth program and like you know you always have like those little corporate jobs but now I'm gonna work for the rest of my life so why the fuck was I rushing you know I feel like you really need to enjoy being your age and you know not not take things for granted so that's one thing that I would tell my kid like enjoy being your age and I just I'm gonna make sure that they don't have to worry about anything that way they can yeah, enjoy, being, enjoy being a kid exactly yeah. like I don't want them to be worrying about the bills like you know like at least like let's say if me and Gerson do have a family like it's our job to make sure that everything's okay not the kids like place to be worrying about it bro i'd make a great dad bro like i always be thinking about it i'm like i'd be the best dad ever you know and like people like me that want to have kids like we're the type of people that should have kids bro you know I, if, like, if you're like i don't know if you're gonna be pushing like literally gay shit onto your kid but don't have a kid yeah don't no. have a kid. they're yeah. gonna come here to suffer just to go to hell like i'm just I'm I'm keeping it a bean dude that, that's another thing too like with my kids dude i'm not they're not gonna have like ipads or like be on like, type like screen time a lot because Dude, half of the shows now they promote <coughs> like LGBTQ LG, activities. Yeah, dude, and it's just like, all right, but like, why are you doing this to a kids show? Let the kids like, be filming, kids. Yeah. Like, dude, like a kid's mind is so like, like open and open to yeah. try new things that if they see something like that on TV or on their phones or iPad, they're gonna want to try it. Or they think it's okay. Or, or they think it's, they're gonna be like, oh wow, this is cool. You know? Yeah. Because like they make it like a trend and it's like, bro, come exactly. on. Exactly. It's a little kid, let their mind develop. Like like young girls, bro, they be collecting gay friends like they're fucking Pokemons, bro. <laughs> on some shit. I've always wanted a gay friend because I, I felt like it was Because cool. it's trendy, because it's <laughs> trendy, bro. Trendy, like you need like that one gay friend, like, yes, girl, like one of those extra Yeah, gay. yeah, yeah, never. <laughs> not for me, that's not for me, bro. But no. I, I actually grew up watching Total Drama I grew up watching Total Drama Island and it was literally like one of my favorite shows and tell me why we were watching it the other day and there's like i personally like i don't have any hate or like i'm not homophobic but like i believe in christianity and i feel like being gay is wrong so i feel like to me it's just uncomfortable seeing that on tv and just like in the kids show especially in a kids show i feel like if it's like a show for older people i get it but like total drama island is a show that like nine-year-olds or ten-year-olds will watch and like that actually happened to my brother we were watching the fosters and there's a kid that's gay there and he was like seven and he told me like alicia i think i'm gay and like i didn't really pay mind to it but like that was literally his favorite show and like no hate towards my brother i love my little brother but i feel like he was taught that being gay is okay and i feel like you know that him being gay is not gonna like help so being gay is not okay that's what you're basically trying to say i really don't like what's going on here yeah, Alicia, you're like bashing. Yeah, like, yeah, you're man. being mad homophobic. Right? Yeah. I'm not being like, homophobic. Like this whole negative energy like, needs to be like, like exit the room, like right If you want to go to heaven, you cannot be gay. Like I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, like, no, that's not my word. That's literally what it says in the Bible. You, you shouldn't be gay. Like God made a woman and a man to be together. Like who are we to be like? No, like. Are we not a match in heaven, woman? Like I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, like yeah, so he was exposed to like kids being gay at a young age on shows and i feel like that really influenced him yeah you know like to try it out and like yeah. maybe he did become gay and it's okay you know but like <laughs> it's okay <laughs> it's, it's okay i still love him it didn't no. change who he is but like i mean you're, you're, when you're a kid bro like you just you want to be whatever you like you want to like you see on tv like bro i wanted to be a ninja i wanted to be gay son or thought daughter <laughs> Gay Bad. son? Gay thought, son. I, thought daughter? Ew. Ew. Like, if my daughter's a thought, like, I do not even know you. You are not my daughter. How many bodies is too many bodies? Like, four. For a girl? Yeah. That's too many bodies to That's begin with. That's too many bodies. Like, 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 bro, like, no, no, no. no, cause I feel like the first. For a girl. No, 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 like, but think about for it. For a girl. The bro. first is always like, a mistake. Like, 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 imagine how, like, submissive you have to be. No, like, but think about it. Like, the first. You're giving is, your body up to, like, a guy. Bro. The thing is, like, how Shut the, up. The thing is, about. Like, shut up over you guys anyways the first is always a mistake i feel like the second like it's acceptable the third like no you know like i feel like after three and four like you shouldn't like three is like the yeah you're not a eh, like kind like, of you're but, getting like, there you're but like get, what, but what age are we talking what age are we talking we're talking 20 our age right 20 oh, our eight bro you should have like like i said the first is a mistake set, like two at least like one or two but like not more than two that's disgusting at 20. 
Alright, whatever, whatever. I don't know, man. Journey. I got, I got like 17 <laughs> bodies. <laughs> but you're a boy. It don't matter. Like, let's no, be but, honest. But. Like, the world is sexist. Deal with it. Cry about it. You know? But, like, women should not have more than, like, two, three bodies. Bro, the thing, thing, about, guy, it too, bro, really the thing about it, too, is I feel like women get so, like, like, if you're a let me dab you up. <laughs> no, no, but, I'm like, smacking after bro, this video. Like, for women, it's more, like, having sex, I feel like it's more, like, like, hard intimate, for women. Intimate, intimate. for women, yeah. Because they, you feel me? It's like, for me? They're yeah. letting a bunch of dicks going inside you, bro. You feel me? And that's like soul connecting in a way. I don't no, know. it is. 100%. Yeah, yeah. And like, it's harder for women. That's why it's harder for women to like, you know, leave a man or like, you know, stay so stuck up in a current relationship because it's just, yeah. and if you just go on like from body to body to body to body, it's like you're feeling something that's never going to be felt because what you're searching for isn't really what you need. You know what I mean? You know what's crazy? I've had yeah. someone tell me that like, that I'm immature for thinking that like, as a girl, like, that like bodies matter but like what do you guys think like as a female do bodies matter i personally L think yes let me put it to you like this let's say you got like a, a kitty right here like legs wide open right zero bodies right you eating that shit like it's fucking pie bro you know you you, you know 20 dicks have been in that bro you're not eating that let's be honest yeah bro. and that shit look black like like, like you, she like she's not black and it look black like a flat tire like, yeah i i heard uh, that like when you like yeah, it, 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 it darkens. Right, right, right. right. It, it, it becomes darkens. like a cut. It darkens. <laughs> 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 no, but like I mean, they're kind of handsome. Like, bro, are you eating Mia Khalifa? No. Let's be honest, bro. She, Mia Khalifa. Mia Khalifa. I don't. I don't know who She's that is. She's a Christian lady. She don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Her, right? You're eating her? No. <laughs> If no. I was a guy, fuck no. Bro. I'm going for Janae. Like Janae, you a baddie girl, like man. Nah, bro, she's bad. Like, like just like her, like her energy, you can feel it through her music and like just her looks, like you know. Yeah. I feel like Janae's a baddie. Anyways, but speaking like, of artists, bro, I'm gonna say something, but like it's everyone's gonna disagree. As long as I know, I know everyone's gonna disagree, but I don't think Rihanna's all that. She's not. Like, niggas be dragging it, bro. Let's be no, honest. Like, oh, she's the baddest, the she's baddest. She's pretty, but she's, she's cool. She's yeah, not she's, the baddest. She's cool. That, she's that's cool, literally like, 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 I cool, feel like girl. Rihanna, like, I feel like Rihanna, she's like, you feel me? Like, she's cool. She's pretty. She got it. You're cool. Lord. But, like, you're not, like, like drooling type of, like, you But there's me? people that be drooling over her. <laughs> yeah, but Excuse I feel like, like, yeah, big ass cranium. <laughs> 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 I'll kiss you on your forehead, like. All right, I mean. The good thing is that, like, you got your boy, so I can ask you guys this, but, like, who do you guys think is, like, the prettiest, like, female? Like, female artists? Like, artists. I don't know. Or in general. You can even say your girlfriend. That counts. What? Or what type of setup is this? You can, you can be, like, oh, nah, wait. Nah, you're setting us up. Oh, you're not. setting me up, dude. Wilmer, who's the prettiest girl? Like, like, prettiest? prettiest? Like, in general, like, like the, the prettiest girl. Like, the prettiest girl, girl you've ever seen. Like, Doesn't matter seen. if it's on your phone, in real life. The prettiest girl you've ever seen. It's my girlfriend, Evelyn. Shit. That's what I was just telling Carson. Nah. Like, no, nah. no, no. Like, like if we're talking about like artists, females, like, like, nah. Pretty, I'm talking like, about female, like the world you've ever seen. Like ever seen. Like who's the most like? Nah, like no, this no, girl bro. makes you like so nervous being around Don't her. Girls, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I forget your moment. <laughs> cut that shit out. Cut that shit out. Cut that out. Cut that out. <laughs> we're cutting that out. Chill out. <laughs> I, I, you. When, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Anyways, like I, I sometimes take like my 15 breaks with Walmart because he always goes to Dunkin's and like I hate driving. Dude, I'm a Dunkin's addict. Like anytime we'll like be on our way to Dunkin' Donuts, like he'll seem like like a 30 year old. You know she looks very like professional. Wait, who are we talking about? About the kid, about me. We're nah, just like bro. literally on our way to Dunkin's, and he's like. Who's that? Bro, like five seconds later down the street. Who's that? They be everywhere, dude. They be popping out. They be dude, catching I, me by surprise. I, I was literally mentioning this. You Our girls getting like fatter, bro. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I'm like, not talking to you. We are not friends. Nah, I'm like, friends with Wilmer. Like, but I was talking to Wilmer. Like, really? Like, bro, really? I don't know. He's cutting the video. Like, like, older women, bro, they, they got it. <laughs> Dude, I think it's dude, the dress I, pants, dude. I don't know. I love bro. dress pants. Bro, dress like, pants are like so attractive. Like I would rather a dress pants than a mini skirt, bro. I love dress pants, but like at least in my position, like I don't work in a good position, like at my job to be wearing dress pants. Like it'd be too hot. Where bro. am I going? Like looking like all this professional. Like there's some days that I like dressing like that, but yeah, I man, can't dress like that dress, every day. You gotta dress well. Dress. I love like dress pants and like blouses dress with like flats and like heels. They're Spot right. Spot your girl's interests. I'm sorry. 
the smalls. Kristen, who is the prettiest girl? Yeah, who's the prettiest you. girl you ever seen? Yeah. Bleh. Time shit. <laughs> No te da pena, the little cochino. <laughs> like, like salt? The <laughs> salt poppy? Yeah. How do I like him? <laughs> so bad. I, 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 I got a question for y'all. Like, you ignored my question. Who is the prettiest girl? He answered. He said, <laughs> <laughs> I honestly don't know. And, like, All right. if I start trying to answer, I'm going to just uh, be. <laughs> if I try to answer. Uh, <laughs> okay. You're the prettiest girl I've ever seen. That's what she wanted to hear again. Is it the truth? No. <laughs> Is it the truth, Kirsten? <laughs> Am I allowed to give another answer? No. <laughs> then yes. <laughs> nah, bro. You God. said it, you said it both. That's just yeah. me. Again, back to like me trying to ask a question. What were your first like cool pair of shoes that you could remember? Jordan. <laughs> what Jordan? Do you remember what colorway? What? <sighs> Number no, but when you got your first pair of J's, it wasn't like it was like one of those like you know those that like, like and then they're like a little high top. It better not have been the Jordan with the butt cheeks. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> or, or or the Jordan taking a jump shot at the. You got the fake Jordan, the Jordan <laughs> just thinking with the ball. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Check me out. Check me out. Check me out. Let's see what you were. Check rocking. me out. Check me out. What age? Though? Check me out. Nah, dude. I was like, I was five. And I, I was in El Salvador at the time, and my dad sent me these Air Forces. They were like this color, yeah. but they're like, they had like brown suede on the sides, and they, were like, and they were black, and the Nike logo was like a, like a, like a darkish brown color, but it was like very like dull. But bro, there, I was in love with those shoes, dude. I would wear them once, and like, I was a little kid, dude. Yeah. I would take them out the second, like, put I would them get right back, back in the box. Put them right in the box and give them a nice little wipe, and then put it back in the box. And I would, I would even put like the paper stocking inside the shoe yeah. bag so they would smell, so they would still like smell like, like new. Shoe. Yeah. My Yo, the thing is like being poor just helps you. <laughs> it just helps you like appreciate shit more, bro. Because yeah. I remember getting my first pair of like white Air Forces and just like putting tape on the soles so they don't Type get shit. fucking dirty, bro. Yeah. Like Pink would walk in it through class because like I wanted to take care of them. <laughs> You know, being poor just helps you appreciate life more, feel me? Mm-hmm. And I mean, shit, you feel me? You take care of your shit, you're going to stay looking fresh all the time. No, no, bad. And you don't let white forces go with anything. No, nah, that's what I'm saying, dude. Dude, I used to. <clears throat> Man, I used to love those shoes. What about you, though? She said Jordans. Mine's, oh. Oh, me? Yeah. Bro, my dad has sent me, like, a like a black pair of Nikes, right? Mm-hmm. And I was, like, four. The Air Force? The, the black ones? Nah, like, mm-hmm. some different Nikes. I, I don't even know what style they were or nothing, but, like, dude... In El Salvador, like, in my class, all the other kids, super poor. And I had a fresh pair of fucking Nikes on, bro. Nice. <laughs> no, like, that ass. Like, it, like my status through the roof, bro. Nah, that shit. Like, no bad. I have another question for you guys. Hey, zapatos son Nike. <laughs> what is the lamest job that you guys have had? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, bro? No, because they're just like, bro. Side eye. They say lamest job, wing stuff just <laughs> automatically just comes to my <laughs> Why you think I was fun working at Wingstop, dude? No. He was over here eating wings in the back. If you do my whole, that was like a, I don't even know what that whole like. Bro, Wingstop, Wingstop got you all fat and shit. <laughs> yeah, dude. Not even just that, bro. But you like, can take food home. But, okay. like, like, but like, bro, it wasn't. There was like so many issues. <laughs> like, oh, but, like <laughs> you guys know. But like, with, with, with homegirl, dude, Wilmer's manager fell in love with him. And she and and one of her boy, her boyfriend was a cook, and he was working in the back, bro. At, I mean, at, at Wingstop, dude, and it made it so uncomfortable because like that was like a, a family owned business and like their brother was his like the dude's brother yeah was the main manager and and homegirl was like dating the you feel me the, yeah. the cook and she she's like she how do you say this one time bro she goes yeah so i broke up with him and i'm like okay what do you want me to do about it no i'm just telling you like you know i broke up with him so like i think you're cute and i'm like what? what? Yeah. <laughs> no, but not just that, dude. But like, Wingstop was a shit show, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the funny part is yeah. that girl he's talking about, she eats ass. <laughs> I was gonna say that. I was gonna say that apparently she eats ass. Bro, you, even, yo, no. but you had spread it for her? Dude, the thing is, let her bro, eat the peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> let her eat the peanut butter. <laughs> nah, dude. The Nutella. Nah. Nutella. Bro, I bro, like how do you say? I didn't do. I didn't mind. do anything with her, bro. And I'm glad I didn't. Like she's a was, demon, bro. She's a butt eater. She's a butt eater. Not even no remorse, bro. Did it in no a car. Remorse on your ass. No, bro. Did it in a car with the dude. <laughs> she had no remorse on your butt. 
Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> nah, chill. She was, was like, no, but like that wings up was the lamest job because that was just. <laughs> and then you, and then you see motherfuckers from work pulling up and yeah, in your fast nah, food uniform. Like, bro, I used to have this this, this, this this hat, bro. And I used to see like like even like some yeah. of our, some of our friends like pull up and I'd be like, I gotta serve these people, bro. Like, yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. started and they be starting to, and they they be starting to, like make small talk and it's just like bro just pay and get out. Come on, get out. <laughs> what is the lamest job you've had, Grison? Lamest job I've had is probably Bro, I used to work with some Brazilian motherfuckers, bro. They used to be so mean to me. We were working construction. Like I remember they were always trying to make me carry all the concrete and stuff. And I'm like, dude, I'm not trying to do that. And they would call me lazy and like they like like how am I lazy? I'm not trying to fuck up my back carrying concrete. Like, fuck you. I don't get paid enough. And at the time, we are making, like, what, like, $14 an hour, bro? Imagine, if, No, I think 12 bro. This is pre-pandemic, bro. Yeah. We were making nothing. Oh. Dude, that was, like, pre-pandemic? That was, like, the like, minimum yeah. wage was, like, 12 something. Yeah, but they used to be so mean to me. But, like, as soon as they need somebody to translate for them, the nicest people you've ever met. You know what about your cocks like? <laughs> nah, bro. Those guys were dicks, bro. The thing is, like, I lied about my age to get the job. I told them I was eighteen. Mm. Yeah, when I was like sixteen, you know, and they would be so mean to me and shit, you know. And then like me and my dad were working together, but then my dad got another job that was better. So it was just me, bro, and it fucking sucked. Yeah. Damn. At least me, the lamest job I've had, I think I would say was Burger King. You worked at BK? Yeah. I got hired on like my 16th birthday. They were like, oh, do you want to work this Saturday? And I, and I look and I'm like, January 11th? Yes. I would love to work on my birthday. Don't nah. ever work on your fucking birthday. I was so excited that I told them that I would start working on my birthday. And that shift was so lame. There was just like a bunch of like old guys trying to flirt with me. Because it's fucking Roxbury. Making me feel uncomfortable. Or Dorchester. Dorchester.